Guys, what's up? So, we just got to the first Army Navy store. Could have some cool stuff in it. So, yeah, there's still another one up in Costco, but we're in Evergreen right now. So, we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, I'll most likely have pictures of the inside. But I'll see you guys. Kind of look around, you know? Um, you hey guys, we're in the army store now. Um, so yeah, so far it looks pretty cool. They have some backpack and stuff. Ooh, it's heavy. And kind of military boxes. Some kind of smaller stuff over here. Uniform. Oh, the uniforms aren't too expensive. Only like 50 bucks. I'm kind of looking at these little bit price tags. Ooh, that's nice. That's a pretty nice uniform. Kind of just moving your way around. Ooh, an Air Force thing. A little bit of white down there. Of course, you have different uniforms and different prices, but you got some of this stuff. Cool, cool. Here's their helmet. Oh, it's a lion. Hmm. That's a helmet. So that's pretty sick. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Helmet liner. That's pretty nice. More helmets. Helmet charges. <laughs> oh, $59.99. That's not too bad compared to most prices. But that's nice. So there's helmets and helmet liners. Oh, this is like the jacket I have. Yeah, I have this kind. Of course, with the a little bit different, but same thing pretty much. Just has a has little patches and stuff on it. I've got these ones, and oh, this place is just <clears throat> awesome. I love it. So this is the military side. We'll check out what else they have. Oh, jerry cans. Have a little uh, X on it. Uh, um, military guy. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I think there's a specific military side. Okay, because this is just jackets and stuff. So I don't think this. What are these? Oh, pants. Military pants, kind of. Um, more stuff up there. Oh, they have cash registers. Looks like there's a whole ton of stuff you could possibly purchase in here. One of, oh yeah, telephone booths. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool to have. You know? um, but, yeah, not so I think this over on past this side is military. Um, hey, what's up? Yeah, I saw they had helmets. <laughs> Got helmet. Helmets? Yeah, these are liners. Oh, those are liners? Yeah, so you put this in your helmet. That's most likely an actual. They also have some down here too. Oh. So they're Ameri they're American. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at this thing. Yeah, that's a well mortar shell. Mortar shell. Uh, they have some military pants, but most of their uniforms mm -hmm. are across here. Uh, like they have some here. Mm -hmm. U.S. Army retired uh, belts like this. Yeah, they're not too expensive either. Yeah. I can't believe I'm not even have it on the bagel. I can't believe I'm not even have it on. Those are the. Oh, that one's a small one. Oh, that one's a small one. 
Yeah, and then over here, those ones are kind of the more early modern ones, and but these ones are nice. Oh yeah, these ones are only like 20 bucks. Oh, yeah. I don't know how much... Oh dang, these are light. Ammo boxes. Those can't be too expensive. Yeah. I know some of the bags over here are like 50 bucks. Yeah. A little shovel. Ammo cans. Oh, wait, how much are they? 50. Oh. That's not too bad. Uh, then, um, stuff here, old blankets. Yeah, that'd be cool to get. Uh, yeah, they're wool. But yeah, a lot of these modern mm -hmm. ones. Um, but down here they have the jackets. <laughs> oh yeah, kind of have wool. Yeah. Oh yeah, like that would mm. be if it had the. Yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah. Plus, I'm also posting it for a video too. But look, they have the jackets that I have. Mm -hmm. They have been green, gray, and black. Mm -hmm. I wonder what these are. Oh, that's like what you would wear probably under your uniform or something. Yeah. More caps. I'm not too sure of what I'll get. You know? So, and then if you go to the far side over over there, they have some military wool pants. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, ski poles. Oh, yeah. I wonder what that was. That? Yeah. You know, the metal thing here. Mm. Yeah. Primer. Primer. Probably artillery related. I'm pretty excited looking at their helmets, kind of. So, most of these look like either kind of a Russian or American style or other countries. They have hats, uh, probably more pants, clothes, reasonable stuff. Uh, another shell, <laughs> just about to find yeah. that. Um, more. Ammo boxes, I think those would be cool to get. Mm -hmm. Uh, bag. Huh? Already got one at home. Yeah. I guess those are like the machine gun crates. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So, probably. Oh, yeah, they have those up there. Those are probably for a display, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure they are. Oh, yeah, canteens. Oh, this is a uh, coffee cup probably get back into the video when I figure out what I'm going to get so either way guys this is I'll see you in the next clip guys what's up so we just got back from the first one but now we're at another one which is a white fish right now and um, kind of still army navy so hopefully this one actually has good stuff in it I mean the last one was okay but it didn't have a lot of stuff it was a small corner but this one, I really hope is better. If not, then I'll have to go to the first one. So yeah, I'll also probably include pictures too. Hey guys, it's a couple hours later than from the um, military museum since it took us like two to three hours to actually get back to Missoula. But I did get some pretty cool stuff. Um, where did I put Oh yeah. First big thing I got... Ugh. and it's heavy is this helmet it's pretty nice I like it it's a nice helmet it's not too heavy but it's not too light either it's right, let me just close, close this thing here. Um, it's pretty nice uh, it's got a camouflage cover leather lining foam it's pretty nice I like it it says it says posse on the front of course for you guys it's backwards because cameras and stuff but either way still cool the strap doesn't fully go there because it's missing a bolt on this side but a modern kevlar helmet pretty nice i like it um and so i'm just gonna put it back here 
another favorite thing that and it's not real brass of course but are these brass knuckles um new york 1864 metropolitan police brass knuckles i guess so but you know these are nice i like them they're pretty cool just something basic mainly a decorative item which I'm gonna put right there. Another thing I got was a metal. Let me turn the light up here, guys, so you can see it better. Oh, uh, that's better. Is a metal with green and green and blue. So I thought that was cool. And. It says on the back for military achievement. And it has like a little emblem thing down there. So yeah, I mean that's pretty sick. I like it. It's a little kind of pin thing, like the little one pins that they have these days. And one thing I got that's actually in a packaging. Oh yeah, I'll show the uniform off later. Is this? So I guess it's more of like a decorative piece, and I wanted to open it up with you guys. Let's set the camera up, kind of over here. I'm going to be opening it up. Oh. That was easy. <laughs> okay. Wow, they actually did not make this complicated to open. Okay, let's... Oh my gosh. That is... Okay, yeah, not that heavy actually no it's that is so cool that is amazing I love it real brass or metal at least but look at these 13 stars 13 colonies stripes also how many one two So 13 stripes, 13 stars. This is a navy one because of the well, anchors. And it also says United States Navy at the bottom. So you don't really forget. But that is awesome. That is so cool. I didn't expect it to be this heavy though. From 1999, I guess. So but that is awesome, guys. Guys, this is, that was only like, what, 26 bucks? So, pretty cheap. I mean, you know, it's nicely made, but, it, you know, it's pretty. Let's see what's made. Made in. Huh. I don't think it says where it was made, but that doesn't matter. It, it's still super nice. Cool, I like that. This is definitely something I'm gonna put in the basement. Um, but yeah, I like it. It's nice. And my prize possession. Let me go grab it, guys. Uh, there it is. Uh, is this uniform? Yeah. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably have already seen me wearing it on Instagram but let me set it up for you guys uh, so you know you guys don't have to just watch me pathetically set it up one-handed okay guys I'm gonna flip the scene so I can switch my camera guys this is the uniform it's infantry or like a enlisted man kind of Right there. Okay. Focus. Uh. I don't think it's gonna focus, but that's like the U.S. symbol. Yeah. Hey, see. Yeah, that's cool. They have the same thing on the 
arms. Yellow trimming across here. They have that same pattern for all the buttons. The inside's not too crazy. I know I got a pen, but I can't find. Oh no, wait. I know where the pen is. But I'll show you guys that later. So this is the inside. Pretty basic, you know. Nothing too complex. And then, actually, when we bought it, there was a pen. This. So if I bring the pen over here, it says, So, Skillcraft U.S. Government. So, that, that was cool. It's a nice little writing pen. So, thought that was cool. Guys, I, I just think all this stuff's pretty cool. Um, you know, I I loved the place that Army and Navy store. There's a couple other cool stuff that was there. You know, they had more expensive items like like four hundred dollar helmets, which I'm just like, oh, that's expensive. They had little badges, more medals like this, but different colors and different emblems and. Then they also had, let me think, they had bags, more uniforms. I was actually lucky to get that one because that was like a, we were about to leave and I found out. I'm like, oh, I'm going to purchase it. <laughs> and I did, you know. But lots of cool stuff. I love all of it. You know, it's pretty sick, not to lie. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, that was something we did for my birthday. I'm pretty happy about um, yeah, guys, so I hope you guys have a good day and a fantastic tomorrow, depending on what time you see, yeah, 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 um, or if you're watching this at night, have a good night, you know, um, yeah, so I just thought I'd make this video, it was fun, took hours to get there, hours to come back, I'm tired, <laughs> But I'm like, you know, I gotta post that video. And I did. Um, you know, so. I'm feeling pretty good. Anyways, guys. This is Alex. Signing off. See you in the next video.